Today you're in for a treat because we're going to learn the accent of Jay Thurwell from Little Mix. Iron Man, Spider Man, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> she was born in South Shields, which is a town on Tyneside. Um, it's a few miles south of Newcastle upon Tyne. Now, this area is in North East England, very close to the Scottish border. Other famous people that come from South Shields include fellow Little Mix member Perry Edwards, comedian Sarah Millican, and Monty Python member Eric Idle. Now, Jade is well known for having a strong Geordie accent. A Geordie accent is the accent that comes from Tyneside, from South Shields, from Newcastle upon Tyne, that area. It's really distinctive, really interesting, and I can't wait to dive into it with you. We were originally called Rhythmics, and then we had to change our name, so we changed it a little mix. And we hated it at first. We were like, oh, it's game over, our career's over, little mix, it's the worst name ever. But now we absolutely love it and we wouldn't ever change it. Okay, there's our first pronunciation feature on over and ever. Did you notice the sounds that she uses there on the ER of both words? We were like, oh, it's game over, our career's over, little mix, it's the worst name ever. It almost sounds like an ah, right? Like when I say it, it's an uh. It's the schwa sound, uh, sounds kind of boring, right? But she has a kind of ah sound. Let me, let me play it to you again. We were like, oh, it's game over, our career's over, little mix, it's the worst name ever. Okay, I'm gonna try and repeat that. My impression is terrible, so forgive me. Uh, but it's like over, over, that ah sound. Can you hear it? Now that's typical in a Geordie accent. When you have a word that ends in er or or, there's gonna be an ah sound rather than an uh sound. We're going to find that a lot throughout these interviews, so listen out for them. I'll point them out to you, but yeah, keep your ears open for that sound. I love the girls and I love what we do. We're so tight together. We all kind of play different roles. Okay, together. Did you get that together? The ah there. Now let's go back to that first clip and look at the H sound. Listen to this. So we changed it a little mix and we hated it at first. Okay, so she said hated, right? Hated. She uses the H sound. Now this is really unusual for British English accents. In all other British English accents, uh, except for RP, the H is dropped. So in Cockney, in Scouse, in a Yorkshire accent, there's no H, but in Geordie and RP, there is an H sound. So she says, hated. She also uses H here. The time it takes this pug to wake up. Name three, superheroes. So on superheroes, she says it there. Now this clip is full of amazing pronunciation features that we need to dive into, right? So I think the next iconic feature of a Geordie accent is the glottalization of P, K, and t. Now when I talk about glottalization, I mean that we restrict the airflow before it being released. So I've talked a lot about the t sound being uh, glottalized. So instead of water, it's water, water. I think everyone kind of knows that sound. But in a Geordie accent, there is a lot of glottalization, particularly on p, k, and t. And she does that here. So on that super, it's not super, it's super, super. Okay, my impression is fairly terrible, I know. But can you hear it, right? So instead of the p, it's super. So she restricts the airflow before releasing it. Name three, superheroes. Now again, you'll hear that ah sound on the er at the end of a word. We looked at that just a minute ago, didn't we? With over and ever. Yeah, so it's not uh, super, it's super. Name three, superheroes. Then we also have the glottalization of the k sound on wake. All right, maybe let's let her do it. The time it takes this pug to wake up. Name four, American TV shows, American Dad, Family Guy, New Girl. In this sentence, it's not just the consonants that are different, it's also some of the vowel sounds. The time it takes this pug to wake up. Now, a Geordie accent has very distinctive vowel sounds that are uh, different from other British English accents. Let's take the words make and take. Uh, they both have that A sound. It's a, it's a diphthong in received pronunciation, so take, make, 
but in Judy that sound shape is different, right? It, it kind of, it's not as wide uh, and it's almost kind of like a monothong, a single vowel sound. So make and take, very different. Now we're gonna hear this a lot in the clips that I've found. So you find it on words like take, make, name as well in this example uh, and lots of other words with that same A sound. And the time it takes this cat to shake off the tape, name five. Oh, cute little Delicious tea. foods. Now the last thing I want to look at with this sentence is the U uh sound on pug and up. The time it takes this pug to wake up. In Northern English, that's how it's said, right? With that uh sound. In the south of England, in received pronunciation, it's an ah uh sound. So it'd be pug and up. But in Geordie and other Northern English accents, it's pug and up. And we'll find lots of other examples later on. And the time it takes this cat to shake off the tape, name five. Oh, cute little Delicious tea. foods, Sunday roast, bangers and mash, shepherd's pie, oh, fish and chips, and Apple crumbling custard. <laughs> Have some of that. <laughs> okay, so much going on in this sentence. Okay, so we've got sun, Sunday, right? So that ah uh sound again. Sunday rose. We've got bangers, bangers. So remember that uh sound, the er is now an ah, so it's bangers. Bangers and mash. Bangers. Shepherd's pie. We've got shepherds. So she's dropping the P, so that's gone, that glottal P, ship adds. And again, instead of the uh sound, uh, we've got an ah, so it's ship adds. Ship adds pie. And then we've got apple crumble and custard. Apple crumble and custard. <laughs> she's dropped that P, so it's apple. So you've got that uh on crumble and uh on custard as well. There's also, in fact, a little ah sound on custard where we might expect a schwa custard. Dud, uh, uh, ud. She's using an ah, so it's custard. Apple crumbling custard. <laughs> okay, the last feature that we're going to look at is instead of the ing ing, it's just an in. So she drops that ing sound and it becomes in. So it's dancing and singing. First of all, I love dancing more than singing. I did a lot of dancing, like tap and ballet and all that stuff, and then I started singing. And that again is a feature that is not just in Geordie, but in other accents like Cockney and Mancunian as well. Okay, so I have two requests for you guys. First of all, go into the comments and please tell me which famous British person I should look at next. And secondly, please share this with anyone you know that's trying to learn English or loves uh, Jay Thurwell or Little Mix and will be interested in this video. Please share this with them. And of course, remember to check out Harry Styles' video and all the other accent videos that I've done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.